Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Uh, today I'm going to be covering my part two of the basics in After Effects. So again, uh, if you haven't seen my part one, be sure to check it out. And uh, again, it's really about the basics. So if you don't, if you never open After Effects, literally. Um, so uh, be sure to check out my part one. And if you know already a little bit about it, you might not want to watch it because um, it's going to be kind of useless if you already know the stuff, obviously. Um, so today I'm going to be, well, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to animate stuff. Uh, so I say it really roughly like that, but uh, uh, for example, you have text on your footage and you want it to move because right now it doesn't move. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be covering that. So how you want to move stuff or change, uh, change stuff, make it smaller or, you know, whatever, make it animating. Uh, so you want to move it, you want to rotate it, you want to make it transparent slowly, but you want this all happening in an animation. Um, so whatever you do to create an animation, you have to create a keyframe. It's kind of hard for me to explain keyframe, but a keyframe just sets... For example, let me take this, this example of this hello text I have here. Uh, I covered in my previous uh, tutorial the few main um, shortcuts. And uh, if you go on position, for example, you have this little clock here. Uh, that, if you click on that, it's gonna set a keyframe. Those keyframe, the keyframes looks like um, a square rotated. I'm not sure how it's called in English. I totally forgot. Uh, I think it's lozenge or lozenge or whatever. I totally forgot how it's called in English. I'm sorry, but uh, this little uh, yellow buttons basically, and. Uh, that sets a keyframe. So, for example, whatever I'm on, position, boom, it's going to set at this exact moment, it's going to set the position for that object. So, right there, the position of it is there. If you go a few seconds later and I move it wherever on my screen, boom, it's going to create another keyframe. So, that means at that point it was there, and at this point it's now here. And you can see it creates a little line to show you where it's going to. Um, so, right now I basically have an animation. So my, my text, hello, goes from there, and it moves up, it moves up, goes to there. Um, so that's a basic animation. So everything you're doing is with keyframes. So a keyframe just sets uh, that certain thing. So for example, position, scale, uh, it sets it for that exact time. Um, so there's a keyframe is basically... Whatever you're doing in After Effects, you want that it's animated, you're going to use keyframes. So it's really important. Uh, let's say you want to create this uh, animation where you have your text moving. And then right there, you think, well, it's good enough. I want to go away, but like slowly, transparent. Uh, you don't want it to go away, like boom, right away. You want to make it slowly go away. So for that, we're going to use a transparency, which is... Uh, T obviously stands for transparency, although it's called opacity in the After Effects. And uh, right now, opacity is at 100. And uh, you want to go away. So you want the opacity to go to 0%. Um, so you're going to set a keyframe at 100. So all this time is going to be at 100. Boom, till here. You're going to say, well, here I still want it to be 100, but I want it to slowly go away. So I'm going to go a few seconds later. And I want, well, it's not a few seconds, a little more, but, and here I want it to go away, so boom, I put 0%. So right here, you're going to see that it's going to move. Right here, it's still at 100% opacity, and it's slowly going to fade away. Like that. So you can move those keyframes around. So you got your, and it slowly goes away. You can see that. So that's for everything. So for transparency, you want to scale it down to so S, S, a position, again, uh, rotation, you want to rotate it slowly, so I want to say right now it's at zero degrees, boom, you set a keyframe, and you go a little bit further, and you want it to rotate, I'm sorry, like that, I don't know, and uh, basically makes a keyframe. So it does this rotation. So that's the basic stuff you need to know about keyframing. Um, so that's how it's called. And uh, that's how you basically make an animation. So it works for everything. Um, so even if you're using an effect, if you whatever you're using, uh, it's 
you're gonna use keyframes to animate stuff whatever you're animating okay um, so I really try to make those uh, just to tell us as simple as possible but uh, I hope it's not too confusing for you and uh, well this one is pretty short for a tutorial but uh, I'll be covering much more in the uh, future ones and I don't want to do two total different things in, t in the same video so I'll just stop here and uh, I'll thank you for watching be sure to comment if you have any question you can also email me at youtube at m4cbook.com and uh, I'll thank you very much for watching be sure to comment, rate and subscribe if you haven't already uh, I'll thank you for watching again um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.